Today I'm going to cover a two-person build for a Vic 3 light intercom system for a Humvee or other military vehicle running on 24 volt power. Uh, there's going to be eight pieces of equipment needed and uh, eight steps to this process. So starting with the equipment needed, a power cable, uh, typically a CX13468 which is used to connect from the radio tray to the intercom. If you can't find one of those, you can use uh, any cable that has this kind of two-pin connection. You're going to need what's called the control indicator. This is for the VIC-3 light. This is the master control station in the VIC-3 light setup. You will need a CX13470 cable. Any length. This particular cable has a length of 2 feet 0 inches. You'll need a crew station. In this case we have a two-person setup for a full function crew station light, also known as an FFCSL. You'll need two bailout cables for the headsets. These are the CX13479 cable. This is just the same thing. Then you'll need two headsets. Uh, there are two primary varieties, the Bose Triport Tactical. You can use two of these if you can find them. Or there's the Recall Raptor RA5000 also known as the H387 headset. You can use two of these or the combination in this case, one Bose, one Recall. So, starting with the installation steps, your power cable, if you're using a CX13468, will be connected to the radio tray in your Humvee. It will bring power from that radio tray to your intercom system. If you don't have that, you'll connect one of these directly to the batteries. Uh, hopefully your cable is indexed so that your pinout is correct, have voltage correct. All you'll do is you'll take this cable. It is indexed with lugs to keep you from wiring it incorrectly. You'll plug it into the power socket. Next, you'll take your CX13470. Uh, direction is important. What I mean by that is on this master control station, you have one side labeled station in, another labeled station out. If you use station in, it needs to connect to station out from the crew box. So in this case, we will connect the crew station in. station out. You'll hear those cables lock into place when they are all the way secured. The next step is to take your bailout cables. If you have dust caps, remove those. You'll simply connect these into the crew station. And then finally, all that's left to do is connect to the headsets. All of the cables at all points are indexed such that you cannot connect them incorrectly without undue force. For example, this lug connects into 
this recess on the headset cable. And with that, we've now built a fully functional two-person setup for our Humvee. For links to the parts identified in this video, please see the description below. Thanks for watching.